Harry, one of the greatest fears the population has for legalization of drugs is that it will cause drug use to rise, especially for young people. I have found data to support both sides, one, one showing no increase when legalized and others showing increases. If you suggest decriminalization or decriminali decriminalizing drug possession or use, what do you say to parents or people who do not want to see drug use out in the open? Will decriminalization condone drug use? It will make it legal, and, to, and you can certainly argue that would condone it in some people's minds. The point is the government has no right to be telling people what they can put in their bodies or not put in their bodies by way of so-called drugs. Uh, if anything, as I mentioned, the prescription drugs are one of the biggest epidemic problems we have in this country, and we don't even, we don't even talk about those. Those are the legal ones that are causing all kinds of problems. The illegal drugs, most of those are not as dangerous, uh, particularly in terms of cannabis uh, and other uh, products, and even if you check with the scientific people, uh, people who are heroin addicts can carry on their work and job as, as long as they get clean heroin and clean needles. Uh, you can't do that as an alcoholic. So they would tell you, the scientific and medical people who study this issue, alcohol is by far the worst drug problem. It's been legal now for decades. We seem to make, cope with it. It doesn't do a lot of damage. Yes, but we're human beings. And what it, it, the point is, why are we making people criminals over a health problem? Mm -hmm. Okay, JL? Yeah, no, I... Uh, <laughs> the... Uh, the, uh, the health problem is also a safety problem for other people, which is why alcohol is regulated the way it is as far as, you know, uh, getting behind the wheel of the car, um, et cetera. And, and, of course, any drug that would be legalized would be regulated. Um, so you're not out there killing someone just because you want to get high or you want to, you know, mainline heroin in the morning and, you know, smoke a little crack at lunch. It, it, it's just not a, a safe thing to do. It's uh, you know we have other people to think about. I don't care if it's somebody's right to uh, you know snort a pile of cocaine and run downstairs with a machine gun and start shooting people. But as soon as he shoots my son or daughter or you know wings me, the game's over. I'm not I'm not playing the game. Um, there we go on that. <laughs> now we got all the way to shooting people from drug use. But anyway. Um, you know, I'm sorry you know, for laughing. Friend, you know, and so we should just arrest everybody. No, 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 no. No, no okay. No. Um, That's what we're doing now. Are go ahead, um, Don. You want to talk about uh, what will the effect of legalizing drugs do on, um, you know, how will you allay the fears of the parents and people who just don't want to see drugs in public? Well, when the drug's legal, yeah. a lot of the profit is taken out of it. So there aren't the big distribution of it. And most of it, most of all the drug cartel is all about money. It's not about drugs. They don't care. And when you take the profit out of it, when people can grow their own marijuana, you know, who's going to bother trying to smuggle it all into America? <laughs> okay, good point. Uh, Harry, you have 30 seconds. Well, once again, I think it's another non-issue that could be solved very quickly if we just acknowledge citizens have rights. And there's no reason for the federal government or the state government to be telling people what they should be taking by way of, quote, drugs, unquote. I think you provide the medical literature just like you do with don't take too many aspirin or whatever prescription drugs you're taking. You try to educate people the best that you can. But to make this a criminal problem that you put people in prison okay. is absurd. It should be stopped. Okay. Uh, JL, 30 seconds. Well, once, once the line is crossed and someone is injured, um, say, you know, drinking booze and, you know, running over someone on the sidewalk, that, to me, that should be a, uh, a premeditated murder charge. Same with any type of drug use. If they kill someone, it's premeditated uh, because they know that they are losing control of themselves. And, uh, you know, putting laws such as that in place, I think would pretty much control the abuse oh. in public of, okay. uh, of hard drugs. And Don, you have 30 seconds if you want it. 
It's up to you. Yes, I, I can see, uh, you know, arresting people for their behavior when they're drunk or on drugs or anything, but not not arrested for using the drugs. You know, we don't, we, you know, if somebody goes to a bar and gets drunk, you know, and they get home, you know, somebody drives them home, they haven't committed any crime. If they're, they're, if they're driving and they commit an accident, you know, and they know they're drunk, you know, they know to begin with, then they're guilty of that crime that they did. Right. But too many people are arrested and put in jail for using okay. the drug right. rather than any crime that's committed. 